This is the Paula G. Show right here on Survival Radio Network. And if you are just joining us, we are having a conversation this evening with Mr. Smooth Coop, a.k.a. Maurice Cooper of Turntables and 45s. We're here in the basement studio, Turntables and 45 basement studio. So we are live. If you're hearing a little uh, playback or a little feedback, um, like I said, we're trying something different. I can hear Mr. Maurice Cooper there. Are you there, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can. I can. Yes. All right. So before the break, we were talking a bit about the music. We were talking about the lyrics, the beauty of the music. We were talking about how uh, back in the day, you know, the, the, the men weren't trying to break a sweat because they spent some good money on the shoes and some good money on the clothes, and they were sharp, and they weren't they were not trying to break break a sweat, so they were a little bit smooth with the dance. They were a little bit smooth with the dance, and you spoke a little bit earlier about the the dance was about the lady. Share with us a little bit more about that. Well, the dance originally started out from the bop mhm, and the bop was a more high energy dance that derived from the Lindy Hop. So as the idea of becoming more stylish and being at your ebb and flow when you entered into the club, the music slowed down and graduated into stepping. And stepping you you was a part what what set it apart was basically the footwork. Then what happened was the brothers in that particular era did not want to upset or or step on anybody's shoes or cause any kind of issues because that would cause definitely problems. So because <laughs> y'all were sharp, you know, the it music was sharp. <laughs> of that time was a time when we really, really enjoyed having. Blue lights in the basement parties. We would go through the neighborhood, and all you could do is see the party lights, and because you were in the neighborhood, people knew you, and they'd welcome you in, and you'd party a little bit, and then you'd go on about the business, okay? And then, you know, and then you would keep all of the outside riffraff away, so that's why they would basically embrace you. I mean, life has been wonderful all the way around. So basically what what I want to say is that if you are from an era and a time when women were elegant, Paula talks yes. about the era when people uh, were trained before they went on stage, I witnessed that. I was a part, mm-hmm. I lived from the south side of Chicago, and the Regal Theater on 47th Street was a part of the children's service. So, mm, now you're going way back. Yeah. So I got a chance to see a lot of the performance that you guys are, are really just looking at on TV and you haven't even thought about, like the Diana Washington uh-huh. of the world. The drifters. The drifters were before the temptations. The drifters used to be called, you know, the phenomena. And and as we progressed, you know, uh, I was thinking about something that was said earlier this afternoon about uh, this one comment person commented on K Boogie's show about. He was listening to love uh, music from back in the day, and he wrote his 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 wife seven different letters. Yeah, well, it really made me think about the time when I was in elementary school, and this happened where you would write a note and pass it to a girl that you liked. The teacher would catch the note, Uh-oh. read it out, out to the class, Ooh. and then you would go after school and write a hundred <laughs> times. On the board. On the board. On on the chalkboard. And there were and there were chalkboards all around the room. So you had to write and fill up every board. But those were the days. And you didn't mind writing it. You understand? Yes. 
it got your message across. <laughs> it got your it got <laughs> it got your message across. And and before we go any further, I want to make sure we give a shout out to Mr. Kevin Briscoe, aka K Boogie, Turntables and Forty Five. We were on uh, his show earlier today. Just had a wonderful time talking about the music. And just just a wonderful gentleman. You all make sure, my Survival Radio Network family, you make sure you support um, his platform. You check him out. It's Turntables In, the letter N, 45. And I'll post that on my feed as well. But we just had a great conversation about music from back in the day and the lyrics and and the beauty of the music and why he, along with um, Maurice, feel that it is so important to keep this music alive, but I'm with you. I'm with you, Maurice, about writing on the board, chalkboard. That was chalkboard. a lot of writing. That was <laughs> and a choking, lot of on, choking on the chalk. <laughs> and then you got in trouble when you got home because you were supposed to be home 30 minutes after you got out of school. You know it. You know it. So yeah. that was just double trouble. <laughs> double trouble. <laughs> double that trouble. Was, Paula, yeah. you know, it's 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 a thing that I appreciate you for for trying to make sure that people don't forget the groups, the artists, the writers, the producers of the music that is imitated and duplicated. And a lot of people think it's original stuff, but it's Mm -hmm. music that we grew up with. So basically what I want to do is tip my hat to you and thank you again for allowing Turntables and 45, Music in Flight, to be a part of the Paula G. Show. And I want you to catch her. She does multiple things. She's written books. She's done all kinds of things. Paula G., you can catch her on Facebook Live. You can catch her. And, and she will let you know her her locations and what she's doing. But oh, I appreciate it. But, no, Paula, we appreciate you. And so Mm -hmm. hopefully in the future we will get together again and we will expand on this. But I know that you you had questions from my wife about how she was able to live with me for For all these years. years. Yes, and and we're going to get to that in just a moment. But before we do, share with the audience how they can tune in to your show as well as K-Boogie's show as well the times okay. and where they need to go. Okay, what we you need to go to turntables T U R N T A B L E S the letter N S dot net N E T dot I N. Turntables N forty five dot net dot N and it's a twenty four seven 365 days a week radio station, okay? So music is playing constantly. Now, to kick off the week, uh, the founder and the creator of Turntables in 45, Kevin Briscoe, does a Wind Down Wednesday from 6 to 8. And he Mm -hmm. plays a little bit of all types of music to help your commute, help you wind down uh, from your work week. And then my show airs each and every Sunday between the hours of 6 and 8 p.m. on the same Internet station, Turntables and 45. My show is called Music in Flight. And yeah. my handle is Mr. Smooth Coop. But my name Mr. is Mr. Cooper. So Mr. that's why Coop. I don't want you to get confused. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Smooth Coop, and and audience, I encourage you to uh, go to Kevin Briscoe, a.k.a. K Boogie's uh, site. It's just a beautiful, first of all, it's a beautiful site and just a diverse uh, selection of music you can click on from the from the 80s, I think the 70s, going back to the 60s. If you like that smooth sound, uh, that smooth Chicago stepping sound, that old school smooth sound, you can find that as well. So if you're at work and you're listening, uh, make sure you check them out. Kevin Briscoe, a.k.a. K Boogie Turn Tables and 45, as well as my guest this evening, Mr. Maurice Cooper, a.k.a. Smooth Coop. 
<laughs> who also has a show on that same network. So, yes, you know, whenever my audience knows that, whenever I have a guest or guests on that have been married for a number of years, I always want to pause and take a moment to have that couple share what they feel are the keys to a successful relationship because our relationships are under such attack. And every opportunity that that I have to allow my guests the opportunity to share what they feel is the key or keys to longevity, you know, I I give them an opportunity to share that because I, I want those of you who are listening who are in a relationship, things are going well, or maybe things are not going well, you know, I want you all I want you all's relationship to survive. I want you all's relationship to thrive. So my guests this evening have been married for what forty plus years and we are now speaking with Miss Sharon Cooper. And y'all may remember her, aka the Transformer. She was on um at the top of the year. She's a professional bra fitter and we talked about fashion and, and um the fashion etiquette. I believe that's the right term at the beginning of the year. So she's here alongside with her husband tonight, and uh, she's she's gonna share. She's gonna drop a little knowledge on us. Maybe maybe uh, Maurice will jump in there too and drop a little knowledge. Sharon, how are you? And welcome back to the show. Thank you, Paula, and I am great. And uh, Maurice and I will celebrate, Lord willing, uh, forty-one years on May fifth this year. Forty-one. Years. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. That is, that observe, that uh deserves some applause. Forty-one years. That's a lifetime, right there. <laughs> That's a lifetime. <laughs> it's a lifetime. You know, and you you were sharing earlier. We were, we were talking earlier about um, just some of the keys of marriage, and there was another couple here, um, Kay Boogie and his wife were here. Share with us just what you feel um, is the key. I'm not sure if that's the word I used earlier. Did I say strategy? I can't remember what the word was I used. What did I well, say? Well, you you just said think, what makes it work, yeah. and first of all. I can tell you that God is the head of this household. Mm, and come on now. That, I think, is what has kept us together, God and a lot of prayer. But I think mm-hmm. also in being able to be in a relationship, relationships mean, it means two, and you have to be able to work together, you have to be able to compromise together. But I think most of all, you you have to allow your your partner in your relationship to be themselves. And I think that's what has kept us together forty almost forty one years because I'm me and Maurice mm-hmm. is Maurice and he allows me to do the things that I am passionate about. And surely he is passionate about this music. So I thank God that he met Kevin Briscoe because <laughs> now when he's in this basement, he is his uh-huh. happy. And, yeah. you know, what they say, happy wife, happy life. So when he's mm-hmm. happy, he's happy. This is the Paula G. Show right here on Savannah.